All right, here we are back in Sanctuary. Yay for construction. We completely got rid of everything um, from the uh, the last uh, stream video. So now I got to go in and start building stuff. So I usually go under wood. Uh, I don't use prefabs. I just kind of mess around with floors and walls and roofs and stairs and not any of that stuff. Fortunately for us, though, we'll just start right away with a piece of wood. Nice flooring. I can't remember which way the stairs go, actually. Hang on. The stairs have to go like that, so the wood has to go like that. Okay. So I'm very fussy about um, my, where I place my wood. I know that sounds kind of gross and everything like that, but I like to be very... The first piece is always the important piece here. No other town is going to be this... Uh, bad so this is oh hang on okay so that's the first one we'll put down but we're gonna move a little bit over this way and grab it straight center and move it just a little bit straight out like so because we want to make sure we are squared away perfectly i know this is this is going to be probably the most frustrating part of the whole video is watching me do this That should be perfect, I think. Um, if not, it'll be close enough. So we do that with the wood, and then we continue on with... I like to use the um, cement blocks here or stuff like that, as you can see. Boom. Boom. And one more for the win. Come on, cat. I know you, you never liked being on stream. Now you want to be on stream all the time. She's such a, she's such a attention whore now. Sorry, that's inappropriate. She never liked being on stream. Now she likes to be on stream all the time. For no reason. But I like using the cement blocks for the, the base. Just because it feels natural. That and I feel like some of the NPCs are kind of special. In that they can kind of disappear underneath that stuff so there's that and then moving on to the next thing ladders to go up the sides like so yep this is where the fun begins i feel like it's a little bit higher than i remember no, it's about the right height. So this is going to be the main area for um, uh, my work, where we get on and off. Um, we only do this because it helps Piper and whoever else kind of move around the base a little easier. As you can hear, every so often when we put a new item, we gain experience, and which is pretty important because you're gaining experience just for doing simple things like this. It's easy to gain a level or two just by building your own co settlement. And you can see we have 2,000 pieces of wood, and we haven't even began to disassemble some of the equipment that we've gotten. I think I should not do that one, because I sometimes do an offshoot. Let's just store these, actually, because I think I do offshoots on occasion, and this one would be here. So, um, fudge crackers. Okay. So, no. So, whoops, now we move over to the side and we are going to build the wall here first so that we can make it um, work proper. Um, we don't use the door setting at all. And I hate the fact that they put all the good walls at the edge here. So this is the standard wall I normally use. And I put it like in between. But to do that, you kind of have to do this and then that. And then take this, put that over there. That's how you do that. So now I got an opening for us to go through into the outside. And then we'll eventually put all the equipment up here. But we'll just build the we'll build the first floor here. I'll show you how it kind of gets done. Um, 
and I realized that as I'm, as yeah as of yesterday and then this, today before I get in the stream, I'm like, God, I talk a lot normally than I normally do in most of my streams because Fallout has a lot. A lot of Bethesda games have a lot of moments where you're not really engaging in conversation like you do in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic or, um, uh, you know, other games would have more cutscenes and dialogue. This game has a tendency to be mostly just kind of quietness. And we'll need a staircase at some point right about there because they want to get up to the second floor because I like a second floor. The second floor is where, like I said before, is where they all spend the night uh, sleeping. It looks like it could be. Oh, guess not. It's raining. Okay. Oops. Well, I placed that one wrong. I will drop my notch. Okay. Hang on. And we gained a level. See, that's all you do to gain a level is something like that. Just building stuff. Level up. And it looks like number three is locksmith number one for me. So now we can pick advanced locks. And if you remember, we also, I keep doing that. We have some advanced locks around here to pick. Um, I think there's one over here and I think there's one in the cellar. So we can move down over here and pick this advanced lock, which is great. Got it. That's more stuff that we can use for our um, building as well as upgrades. And we'll we'll make a, this will be like a double entrance. You'll be able to go um, to left and right here and there'll be a wall in the way that way so raiders can't shoot you through. But this is the main floor where the activities happen for, we're gonna build, uh, we'll probably build this out a little bit further um, so that we can put all the um, stores in here at some point we won't be able to make the stores just yet because we don't have the appropriate level of um caps there's a the appropriate level of um big sale you need to get to a certain level and then you can get uh vendors and you can sell vendors i believe it's like level four or five well actually i can show you let's see so you can build your own um Shops and stalls, you just have to go to stores, trader, or armor, or weapons. The weapons is the first one. And you need local leader, rank two, but you need the capped collector, rank two, to get the nice, fancy-looking one right here. These are the ones I usually use, so that takes a little bit of a while. So you need local leader, rank two, and then clap collector, rank two, as well. So rank two of uh, local leader is basically the final form of local leader. So now that it's daylight, we don't need to have the flashlight on anymore. Go down here. Go ahead and pick the lock now since we have that available. Easy. Yes. Now we have all the stuff, more, more stuff for um, our projects out here and upgrades. As well as ammo for certain weapons. Whether or not we have the current weapon on hand, I know we just got a pipe pistol a few episodes ago, which we'll be able to upgrade that at some point. And then we'll use that. So now we're done with all the uh, exploring in the basement and got all the locks open. It's, oh man, <laughs> I forgot this one spot. I'll be darned. I'll be darned. I thought we got rid of everything. More stuff for us. Let's go over here and you can store all that stuff. So you can hit transfer, store all junk, look, see if there's anything else. Nope. So that's just it. Exit out of that and keep on building. Which is going to get you more levels, which is awesome. And that's why, that's where I spend most of my time in Sanctuary, just doing stuff, just doing this, this task like this. This will get you maybe five or six levels. I can't remember off the top of my head, but... It is worth every minute here if you don't want to get ripped apart by the wasteland. If you are um, not in, not really into the whole, I go out there and get killed. Whereas if I built this base up, hey, I already have a place to uh, do all my business, and we can do our own thing. So 
now that we have the floor built, we can build the walls here and the walls will be similar, all similar design. I kind of like using the style wall because it looks like the most, um, in, I guess the most put together wall. No, no, no. Dang it. That's weird. Okay, fine. We'll just flip you around. Oh, you stinker. You stinker. All right. Cancel this tab. Store that one. Yes. Flip this around. Like, you just don't want to flip around, do you? I hate that it does that. It's going to drive, it's going to activate my, 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 my brain to get all messy about this whole, <laughs> this whole thing. I don't like that it does that. I want uniformity, not rogue elements here. You stinker. All right. Cancel. Store. Yes. Flip. Flip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. Cancel. Um, flooring. You go back out there. So, flip. Are you perfect now? Yes. Now we're uniform. That's just, oh, I hate that it drives me nuts. <laughs> it'll, it'll eat at my, my brain for a long time about that being incorrect. Especially when I build, when I built this, that's why I had to look at the flooring because this goes this way, but the stairs go up and down. So as you can see, they're all nice and uniform. And for people who um, have issues with uniformity and trying to get things all nice and perfect, that would drive you nuts. So I'm trying my best to help you out here. And that also bothers me too. Little things like that. We used them from storage. That's why we didn't get any points. But there you go. Like that. And like that. And like that, that should be right. Right. L right is higher than the left. That's how we're going to go with that. Right is higher than the left. But it's easier to move around like so. We're going to leave that open because we're actually going to build an, a gateway to the outside world in just a minute. What's great is you can just use the mouse wheel to kind of scroll over to move that to the other side so you don't have to move actually further. Whoops. <laughs> See what I mean? You can place things pretty much anywhere. Uh, back to walls again. We have to go all the way back to the beginning for the door or the entryway. What I like to put in on both sides of, dang it, of the door here and then another one here. So now you can go in and out. You can build a door as well. Um, those are located right here. This any old door will do. I like the color red for some reason. I, I've never really figured out why I like the color red. It just keeps escaping my mind. And um, that will be it for the, the almost it for the first floor. But the last thing we got to do is build a roof. And the roof one is this one right here. It's very solid, sturdy, and it is pretty much perfect for what we need to do. So we need to want to make sure to make it make it like that because all the flooring is going the same way up and down. <laughs> so for people who have issues with um, uniformity and um, just makes you frustrated that it's not the same, we're going to do our best to try to keep things uniform. It's a little more time consuming, but I don't mind because I've literally put in tons of hours in this game building bases because, well, it's what we do. It's milk help. Like I said, it'll get you that experience that you need. And it'll make the, it'll make going to Concord a lot more tolerable. Why'd that disappear? Because it didn't. <laughs> dang it. All right. I don't know how much we'll have for power as well as other things, but we'll see. Cause like I said, I have to break apart some things. So that's going to be the, this is going to be the work area. Like I've said before, we can already start putting in stuff over here. Um, I like to put the power armor set like in the middle front and center, right, right as we come in. So like that. And then just pull it up just a wee bit. Just a wee bit more. Oh, 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 oh. 
Nice and there we go. Perfect. A little bit more to the right. That's easier to do when you can move. Just mm. we'll pull it back just a wee bit. There we go. That's, oh, I'm going nuts already. There we are. Perfect center. Ready to use anywhere. Um, that's what I like to do with that. Chemistry set. It goes, the this faces outward. So you want to face it like this. I know it seems weird. The chemistry set is very important for you when you want to, uh, when you get all these chems, you can mix them together and make uh, Psycho Jet, which is a very cool uh, chemical. If you plan to play the game without... Um, any help whatsoever from um uh using or um using uh ar power armor use the cycle jet cycle jet slows time down for a little bit and makes you a little bit more power <gasps> powerful so that's why i recommend doing that um if you accidentally store these you can't make them until you build uh another um thing and then i put the guns always on the other side why did i put ladders on the back side when that's going to be in the way. I don't know. Because I'm weird. So we can just put these in storage. Since you won't be able to go up these ladders anyways. But that one will leave. Oops. Do, 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 do. We'll eventually use them at some point for something else. Actually, we probably should have kept that one. There we go. So now we got our base of operations ready to go for the main point. We won't have, we may have enough power to build a generator. I'm not sure. But now you can start scrapping stuff. So anything, because now we have, oh, we got this over here. We have to put this. I usually put this right here just because you'll need it later. And what you should also build right next door is go to uh, resources and build a water fountain because you'll need it to drink uh, water every time to regain your health it is the easiest way to regain health in the game. And if you have this, it'll allow you to regain health without um, uh, without getting radiation damage. So you just need to find the right spot for it. I kind of like trying to keep it close so we don't have to go too far to get to it. Perfect. So now I can go over here, or never mind, I can go over here, and she just gets full health. Because we are, we have our own clean water source. She won't have full health perfectly because she's got a small, little thin piece of radiation damage. But when we get more, when we get a level, radiation damage kind of disappears as you level up. So the stronger you get, the, um, the less radiation damage we got. That, those bricks are floating. I hate that. somewhat better there we go anyways so this will be the basis of your work work area and we still got to build the rest of the roof so we're going to work on that but i i like wasting time doing this because that's what that was the first the first thing i was like well we should probably playing the game um on the assassin build. I'm like, I don't like that one. Cause you die a ton of times and it's not fun at all. I mean, it might be humorous for every time you die or something like that, or get more people to watch the channel. I don't care. I rather play the game as the way I always play the game. Um, and I play certain aspects of the game, certain ways, every game I play, I have a certain way of doing things. I can play other ways of doing it. I just like the one I like to play through the games. It's the way I like to play it in the beginning. So that's what I would do normally is play as a power armor um, character. So now that we got the first floor is completely done for now in terms of um, layout and structure, we don't have our, we haven't even done building uh, um, uh, things to do yet. So we're going to get another level here. Oops. Fat fingered that one.
There you go. Another level, and we are level... What is it? Come on. Open it up. Come on. I'm pushing F4, and it's not working. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So now we're at the next level here, level four. It looks like level four is gun nut, which is great. Gun nuts for people who want to make better guns, improve upon their guns, and that's why I like to use that one. And I believe our radiation damage is gone, so we are now radiation flea after free after taking care of all those stupid um, rad roaches back in the vault. As you can see, though, you can see Red Rocket Inn over there. That's the uh, gas station. We'll go meet dog meat and fight some uh, annoying little mole rats. Uh, Concord Water Tower. There's some med kits right underneath. Abernathy Farm. You'll go there. It's we'll go there at some point. There's an issue where we have to travel all the way up to the other side of the map to take care of a um, watchtower. I don't think we can see it from here, but there is an antenna located somewhere due east and north of here, where we'll have to go over there and uh, get the locket from the bandits that killed their daughter. Um, it's a sad quest but once you do that that can be your first farm if you go ahead and do that quest first i like to sometimes you can go discover it yourself other times you will get has to go visit him with um preston garvey however preston garvey likes to send us first uh out way out east to a farm uh located a little bit like far out east from here um and he'll ask you to go ask what the sellers want. And sometimes they ask you to go down to um, go down to Boston to do something. And I really don't like that they send you that er that early in the game to go into deep of the heart of Boston. And it's like, I don't think we're that strong enough yet to do that. But that'll be in a bit. I believe right is higher than the left. So just to be 100% sure, let's go look downstairs real quick. Yep, right's higher on the left, so this will be, um, hmm. usually we put the generator right here, so I'm just going to store this real quick, put the wall here, yep, and then go back out here, put another wall down here, or floor back down here. Then build the wall back up around it. We're going to put the generator in here somewhat. I know it sounds weird, but. Uh... You don't want to do that, do you? Do you? Do you? Uh uh. I'll put the generator in here so that we can, um, you know, do stuff with the generator. So generators are under power. Small generator. You always have a small generator. It generates three power, which we'll need for eventually we'll build a antenna, but we don't have the crystals yet to build the antenna, but that'll help us uh, do settlement recruitment, which is what you have to do at certain points in the game. You'll need to build a, um, this is some kind of, um, and signaling tennis so we can get people to come in here. So we're gonna build we're gonna build a I don't want to build the medium one in here. And we'll build the small one, it doesn't matter, because we're not using much power in here, so we'll just put that there. It won't do anything, it'll just make noise for a while because well we don't have uh we have connectors, but I don't know if we have enough um ones to do anything with. So we'll do like the roof connectors for the ones up here once we get to a start a point where we want to use those. But it's going to just make noise while we um, continue on uh, building the first floor or second floor, excuse me. So here we go back to back to putting in more work for the walls, which we'll probably get another level here in a bit. But as you can see, Sanctuary is a very big place and you can you do a lot of things here and not have to worry about um, uh, space. Space is definitely something you don't have to worry about around here. So at some point, though, when we get over here, we have to go back, build, uh, build that there, there, and 
there. Then we got foot flooring out here. Um, we'll just leave this open for now because we're not going to put a door here because that causes, I think we, oh, I can't remember if we put a door here or not. I think we do. I think we do. And then we do this and then we'd put one more down and then you take the one back or you put it over here. No, won't let you do that. Okay. Um, put that over here. Then you put the fence back up for the actual door. Yeah, it's so far back at the beginning. Wish there was a way to organize these a little bit better. And then we'll build the, the door as soon as we step outside. Put another red door over here. There we go. And then just start working on the flooring again out here. This is where you're going to be. This is where the outpost is going to be for the people to watch um, the rest of uh, the area for invaders and such. If we can, I guess we can't do that. Well, shoot. I thought we could. Guess we can't. Um, we can leave it flat and broke if you don't want. Don't. Eh, I hate that. Scrap. Scrap. Just leave it as is. I thought we could, I bet apparently we cannot. And just like that, 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 and that. So now we have the top area for the roof. Um, we can put these over here, these nice little flat stairs. They will help people get up and down uh, up here, which you wanna kinda put a little bit of helpers for them because they don't understand physics like we do. So you can get the really small ones here and kind of build a small walking area. And then you want to get the ladders out and you want to use restored ladders like so. <laughs> Doesn't work well when you're facing down. There's no way to look to look like that, that, that. 50 is the normal happiness to get to a place. Um, it won't go any higher or it won't go any higher until we get people living here, but you can lower the happiness by accident. Um, if you don't meet the uh, requirements that um, the level wants you to do. So we'll put in one more uh, concrete floor here to bridge the gap. It was right. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll build more step ladders over here so that people can kind of, yes, I know build something with power. I get it. I'm not going to build something with power just yet. And then that's it. So now you got people can walk up and down here and then we'll build another, we'll see if we can build one here. I don't know if we can or not. Do, do, do. There we go. So there, now they can walk around and go up here. And when they go up here, they'll be going up to their little base of operations. We're gonna put a guard tower here, which is under defense, guard post. And we usually put the ground post right up here um, just to kind of get a strategic position to see. Uh, oop, 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 oop. That's gonna bother the heck out of me to see what's going on. So they can watch this area over here, left, right, and that way over here. Um, not that it matters too much, but I just like doing that because now they have a good guard that can just kind of look, see the bolt fly over there in the distance and uh, bolt fly over there. And then they can see that, that point of entrance, etc. We will be putting another one over there and another one over there uh, when we get to it. But right now we're going back to finish the roof finish the inside, maybe put some lights up, get the beds made so that people can sleep in here when they get here. We'll build a lot of beds um, for uh, the people that we're going to be living here. It feels like this is a lot smaller than I remember, but I could be wrong. And you can keep building higher if you want. I usually don't build any higher than the second floor. I usually build for expansion but we can always build another layer if you want. So 
There's a generator again. You can barely hear that thing. All right, because I turned the effects down way down. Because I wasn't sure which one would be. The bullets can be too loud at times, especially when you get the uh, power weapons later on. It's the the blasters and lasers and so forth. A level 20 in alien spaceship will crash here. We probably won't get to 20 anytime soon, but you'll come out of a building or an area and all of a sudden you'll just, Piper will say something about, you'll hear something fly overhead and then Piper will say something along, or your companion will say something along. So we might want to go check what the heck was that about. And it's somewhere in the distance. There is also a vault, um, here as well where people live in there however if you go in there and you get hit you get permanent damage unless you want to be evil and you want to um take it away the medicine from the kid but you have to go through there completely stealthy we're not going to do that one let's see we are level five level five says scrounger rank one which is for ammunition now we get more bullets which is helpful a lot a lot helpful um you can see on the mini map in the bottom of the screen also that's where Abbey Abbey Farm is. There's a cabin over there which uh, has a magazine you can read and some well some insects. There's the vault on the map. Sanctuary is right there and Red Rocket Inn is right there. So there's only three undiscovered areas we have on the map. Anything that's solid is where you've been. All right. So now that we got the inside all taken care of um, for now. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to finish up the defense real quick because, well, let's actually do some deconstruction. How about that? Scrap one, scrap that, scrap that, scrap, nope, cancel, keep one. Got to keep one of each. Got to keep one of each. Why? Because you probably want to build it up and make it more powerful. Uh, so you can't get to 45, but you can get to level 19. So you probably, you'll need that. However, if you see, we only have uh, four adhesive, so you got to be very careful and what you want to improve on these guns. But keep uh, keep at least one pie pistol for the beginning few levels because you're going to need it um, at some point. Does it feel like I'm not running? <sighs> Already tired. Sounds about right. Uh, let's go do defense turret. Turret. We're going to put one defense turret. This is the one I always use. As you can see, I can build at least four of them right now. So we just want to build a little defense turret here. I like to put one at the entrance. They patrol pretty much 360. If they hear something, they will shoot at it. But I use this one, not this one. This one wastes more circuitry, but provides only three defense, whereas this reduces everything by a little bit and is a little better. I Like I said, I don't use any of these fancy ones because I honestly don't think they're worth the, 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 the price of vision. If you want to make it better, go ahead. But the higher of gun nut you get, the better turret it becomes. Like it starts shooting incinerary bullets and stuff like that. So you can see it's like, it'll say on there, um, mark one. And the higher you are in levels with uh, abilities and so forth, it'll decrease its rank. So now we got two mark two tur two mark one turrets at the entrance way, and that'll be fine for now. Uh, we will also build a um, a defensive guard post here. I was going to build a gate, but I feel like that's kind of pointless, really. You just need a gate right here so they can watch or not a gate but a guard post right here so they can kind of see what's going on we have two turrets that will watch the entryway as well anything that's when threatening distance of the turrets will be shot at you'll hear them beep at you and be like nope so we'll build those two there that's pretty good for defense right now because we really don't have much i uh, will build another uh guard post over here and then as well as we'll put a turret on the roof to the building on the right so I like to build the big guard posts or a eh, little one's probably more prudent over here. Can't really see much over the hill anyways. So you can see nobody usually attacks from this angle, but I like to put one here just in case my brain goes, when I go defense, I go big on defense. It doesn't matter if somebody doesn't come there or not. I always just go all out on defense and then one turret there. So now we have turrets watching, uh, Actually, I probably should move that a little bit closer to the edge. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, there we go. 
because now they can't get underneath the roof too easily and not get shot at. So now we have two defensive turrets around here. There's our fancy building. Thank you.